More than just new shavy duty. How y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. So let's get right into this. The eraser we're gonna be using today. Something I haven't used for a long time. It is my Gillette Ball Type Tech. Ball Tech? Yeah. Old school 1930s. <clears throat> I feel like using this today. I haven't used this in a long while. This is the short comb, not the long open comb. So short open comb. Yeah. I've had this razor for a while. It's one of those ones that I don't use very much, but it's one I won't part with. Uh, DE Blade, we're going to be using today, Lord Cool Super Stainless 5. That's what we're going to go with today. Comes packaged like that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Made in Egypt. Super Stainless. Get that loaded up in here. Oh. <laughs> For the handle, I actually, uh, a while ago, I put buckshot in here. If you hear it, make it a little bit heavier. All right, let's line it up. These old school razors are not perfect. Just gotta get it right and line it up. That's good. Yeah, a little overhang, but you know, ball tech. That's what we're going with. Now, something brand new that we're gonna be using today. Well, let's go with this first. Brush we're gonna be using today, Paul H Films Citrine Handle. 26 millimeter, I think, yeah. Soap we're going to be using today is something brand new. Yeah, from Sterling Soap Company, and it's, it's called Nag Champa. Champa? Yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah. This is the 4.5 ounce one. It's about, about the size of a hockey puck. Very cool. Batch number 1789. You guys want to look at that? Check out all the, like, the ingredients and stuff. Tala based and stuff. Now... Scent profile on it is a spicy, rich Indian scent with notes of sandalwood and fragapan. Now, if you've smelt the actual Nag Shampa incense, my mom has them. I smelt them. <laughs> I've used them a long time ago. Um, this smells dead on to that. To me, my nose smells, it smells exactly like those Nag Shampa uh, incense. Really, really nice scent. So let's open this up. Let's get the scissors. Eh, we could use quick tweezers. Do, do, do. Yeah, yeah. Just, God, yeah, it smells just like it to me. You know, your nose may be different, but hey. Yeah. I think it smells pretty spot on just right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it brings back so many memories about the 90s when I was younger. Go to like places like Trails and hang out on like Mill Avenue here or you know this place shirts and things. <laughs> but yeah, oh yeah, all the underground head shops on Mill Avenue. That's back when Mill Avenue was cool before it turned like not good. All right, let's heat the brush up. I'm gonna load that puck right in my hand. Yeah, Mill Avenue used to be a really cool street here in Arizona. College Town, University and Mill. Oh man, yeah. Back in the late 80s, early 90s, it was awesome. I'm gonna load this right up this, like this. That's where everybody would hang out, man. It was cool. Mill Avenue. Had like Zia Records there, the head shops, people with drums. Um, a little bit more water. Drum circles, stuff like that. That was a place to be on the weekend on a Saturday night, Friday and a Saturday. All right, let's see. Water. Now, now, I don't think anybody goes down there anymore. Because they created so many, so many rules, like the water. Um, it used to be like all the, like all the lowrider guys, like with all the, um, like your Impalas, just, you know, lowriders, Dayton wheels, cars bouncing and stuff. Yeah, they had crews down Mill Avenue. And uh, all the uh, import guys too. They call them rice. Well, they call them racers. You know, like the Hondas with the graphics kit and lower cars. Really, really loud. It was awesome back then. Not anymore. All right. So, let's get this ready. Appreciate we're going to be using today. We're going with the cube. 
chocolate cube again. Yeah, I'm going with the chocolate cube again. Why not? Smells good. Chocolatey goodness. Dark chocolate. Ooh. Yeah. Mill Avenue in the 90s. That's when I first smelt Nog Champa. There's a place here called Trails. Head Shop, they call it. They sell, if you know what a head shop is. But they sell like band t-shirts and swag and other things. But that was the first time I smelt it on, it was on Mill Avenue. And I'm like, what the heck is that smell? That smells amazing. And the Nog Champa incense. Alright. Now, if you like to me, it's to me it smells spot on. Spot on to that incense. Right, get some more water in there. How the heck they made it smell just like that incense, but that's awesome. I personally think it smells spot on. fingers because there's no really no grip on this really much <laughs> that's number one very good That blade a little bit more warmed up. It was kind of cold. That's better. Much better. Very, very good. Good residual slickness, too. Now, this is my second Sterling set that I've bought. And the first one I got was Christmas Eve. Awesome, awesome scent. And this one. Both have not disappointed me. Scent-wise, performance-wise. Yeah. That Christmas Eve one smells awesome. And then this one. Yeah, just like the incense. Pretty mild blade, DE e. blade. Got some pretty good growth. I might have, hmm, probably should have been with a maybe sharper blade, but oh well. This will work. Yeah. Okay, let's get a little bit more on there. Water on tips. Eh, 
ね。ああ。Just like it to me. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's do a pass two. My type of pass two. Man, good soap. It's like I said, my second set of set from Sterling, and I have not been disappointed with either one of them. Yeah, just glides right over it. Glide. Dude, I'm up there. Mustache can get real. Razor, you can really get underneath your nose. It's real, real thin. Thin profile. Very good. Oh, very good. All right. Mm. One weeper, but not bad. That's good. So I'll clean up and right back. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, very close, very BBS. Couple weepers right there, but everything else, 
Not bad. Very good. Nice close shave. Awesome. So, ammo block. <laughs> More water. More water. Aftershave we're going to be using. Matching aftershave. Aftershave slash Thrilling Soap Company Nog Champal. Yeah. Yes. Oh, just like that soap. Spot on. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. A little bit too much. Never. Oh, yes. Very nice. Oh, how the heck they did that. Oh. Recap what we used today. Sterling Soap Company, Nag Champa, After Shake Splash. We also used the matching soap today, 4.5 ounce plastic, well, yeah, plastic puck. About the same size as a hockey puck. Paul H. Films, Orange Citrine, DS Cosmetic Brush, 26 millimeter tuxedo knot. The blade we used, Lord Cool. Cool. And 1930s Ball Tight, Ball Tech Gillette Razor. Hey, Allen Block. PAA Chocolate Cube Pre-Shave. And that is the shave of the day, ladies and gents. That's it. Very good, very smooth BBS. If you're a fan of that, if you're a fan of that incense, the, the Nog Chapa incense, I guarantee you would love this. This is a smells to me spot on of that incense. Very, very good. Awesome, awesome. Oh yeah, this is batch number 1143. So Hope you ladies and gents have a good day, good week, good shaves. More to come. St. Patrick's Day is coming. <laughs> and uh, see you ladies and gents soon.